Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We're in East Bay Township, which is out in God's country in Grand Traverse County, uh, with a local glass blower. Erica, uh, thanks for making time for us. Not a problem. Thank you for coming out, Vic. And I should say Erica Stegmeyer. And uh, all right, kind of explain what you do. Um, I do lamp work jewelry out of borosilicate glass. Um, so there's a lot of different things I make with it. There's a lot of tutorials and lessons that I also teach. Um, but mostly I saw a lot of my work in the area and I saw a lot online. Uh, but lamp work glass is kind of my favorite medium for art. All right. Now you're saying lamp work glass. I don't know what that means. Lamp work glass is where you're going to be using a torch versus um, when you, you've probably seen like the big vats of molten glass yes. where people have the long tube, they dip it in, they blow out. That's soft glass. That's not considered lamp work. Lamp work is where you specifically have just the torch here and the torch is what you're heating the glass with. All right. And you had me on the torch earlier and it's very difficult. And, and things like this are very difficult for me, but not for you. How did you get into this? I uh, used to be the night shift cashier at Prevost on 8th Street when it was actually Prevost. And um, one of my regular customers was a glass blower and he ended up inviting me over one day and showing me how to do pendants. I fell out of it for many, many years. And about two years ago, I got into doing lamp, um, lamp work, hollow glass blowing as a serious career. And within a couple of months, I YouTubed a bunch of videos, learned how to do a lot of things that I was missing, and uh, just started selling everywhere in Traverse City. So if I'm understanding what you're saying, you're basically self-taught. Um, 90% of what I'm doing right now and a lot of the techniques I'm using are things that I learned on my own. And you, one of your most popular, and correct me if I'm wrong, but most popular works is the is the sea turtle. The sea turtle, and that's actually one of the ten percent things that I did not teach myself. A good friend in Grand Rapids showed me how to do the sea turtles, and I made a couple of them. They sold locally, and um, because they're not broke, or because you know. Um, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And people seem to really like sea turtles around here. So that's kind of a staple that's become part of my art artist diet. And there's gold in these sea turtles. Yes. So explain where you got that. Um, the gold comes from the Mojave Desert. My grandfather mines gold out there uh, as kind of as a hobby. So when I make my sea turtles, I do what's called a gold and silver fumed implosion. I put gold and silver on the end of a glass tube, vaporized in the flame, put the colored dots on top of it or I'm sorry, cobalt blue dots. When I implode it, you actually get kind of a rainbow spectrum, gold and gold creating reds and purples, silver creating blues and greens. And then the center of the body is usually the overlap of the two, hopefully creating the rainbow effect. All right, now if people are watching this and they wanna find out more information about you and what you do and how to maybe even purchase what you do, where can they find you? I currently have, um, I'm just doing a Facebook page right now because there's so many, every picture is unique. So having a website would be a lot to update at this point which eventually I'll be getting into that. Um, but Artfire is where I'm currently selling a lot of my works, plus a lot locally. So Silver Fox uh, has a bunch of my work. Synchronicity out in Glen Arbor, um, Fishtown, uh, Reflections out there, uh, Acoustic Mead in Traverse City, and then, yeah, mostly online. And you're also talking about live Yes. Something live. Explain that quickly. Um, I have a, there's an area here in Traverse City. Hopefully come this spring, I'll be setting up my studio inside and uh, people will be able to actually come and see me and uh, watch me blow glass, which I'm also doing tutorials and lessons as well. So you can sign up for that and watch, watch it one-on-one -on -one and actually get um, some education out of it. I can imagine that would draw a very large crowd because that's fascinating. It is. And I do, I offer two different types of classes, a tutorial for those who want to walk away with a souvenir. Uh, I show you how to make a pendant. I let you walk through making the pendant. If it gets out of, you know, gets a little wonky, I'll take over. But basically by the end, you'll get to actually walk away with a souvenir. And then there's another lesson I set up specifically for people who, um, who want to actually do it as a career, who want to actually do glass blowing as their, you know, for the rest of their life. So I'll set them up with contacts, local just distributors for oxygen supplies, all those kinds of things, uh, where to go online to buy your uh, borosilicate and those kinds of tools and whatnot needed to accomplish glass blowing. Erica, you're living proof of why I love talking to anyone I run into because you never know who you're going to meet and what they're doing. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. In East Bay Township in Grand Traverse County, for My News 26, I'm Vic McCarty.